Triumph has made it easier to choose between the two variants of one of its best models, the super cool and capable Scrambler 1200. So which one should you get? The Long Travel XE or the less expensive Low Seat X? This model family has changed for 2024. Prior, there was an XE model and an XC model, but the XC model has now been replaced by the X model, which is a lower height, less expensive version of the XE. But the XE has also been lowered in price. So the previous price on the XE was $16,195, but they've dropped that price now to $15,295. There's some good changes here that improve the bike, but they also had some things that they changed to lower the price. But the biggest thing that you need to know about these two bikes is primarily the chassis differences, which we'll get into in a second. What is the same between these two bikes is the engine, but it did get some upgrades for 2024. The throttle body is now 50 millimeters up from 45. The claimed output is 89 horsepower with 81 pound feet of torque. The engine is just so much fun street or off-road. The torque that it has available all the time, you can short shift and just feel like you're in the right zone all the time. So I really like that about it. But let's talk about what makes these bikes so different. Starting with the XE, this bike has longer travel. It has 9.8 inches of suspension travel. With that suspension, it's now Marzocchi. The Marzocchi suspension on the XE model is fully adjustable, preload, compression, and rebound. Whereas on the X, you've got Marzocchi suspension, but it only has preload adjustability at the rear and the fork is unadjustable. Seat height is another key between these two bikes. The XE is 34.3 inches, while the X is two inches lower at 32.3 inches. When you're looking for a bike that's a little bit more manageable, it can be a little bit easier to get your feet down, but then you do lose that travel. Another big change are the brakes. The XE now has a Brembo Stylema radial mount four piston calipers on the front, a pair of those, 310 millimeter discs, while the X model has Nissans that are not radial mounted. So the brake package on the rear is the same Nissan brakes and the same diameter discs. The geometry is slightly different. The XE has slightly more relaxed geometry, a little bit more stable. Another big difference between the two bikes is the electronics. The XE has a new control pod on the left handlebar. One of the nice features on this that's different from the X is it has a joystick toggle instead of the, the four up and down, left to right arrows on that model. The dashes are definitely different. The dash on the XE has a little bit more information that's visible. You can see some more stuff. It's got some options to customize the look of it, but for sure the rider interface out riding the two bikes off-road and on the street it's really nice to just get in with this new control pod and it's much it's much easier to get in and change things the xe comes standard with cruise control and the x does not maybe not a big deal but it's always nice if you've got these new electronics both bikes come with the same wheel and tire package we rode on michelin knobbies today but these bikes have some other options that you can do that are more street oriented. The X model is definitely the more street oriented bike. I think with street tires on it, it's lower center of gravity, definite different feel than the XE does as far as handling goes, but it still feels really nimble and light because of the 21 inch front tire. The knobbies were actually very good on the asphalt today. We were totally happy with them, but if you're not gonna really do off road, then I think the X model if you put the street tires or the street tires that come on it, it's, it's a really nice choice. The XE, I think with the longer travel suspension and the 21 inch front wheel and the, there's a 17 rear, it's a 150, 70, 17. The bike acts like a naked adventure bike, honestly. It really impressed me off road. It's a really fun bike to ride. Just that little bit of extra travel, it's about three inches of, of travel that's different really makes a big difference off-road. Like you all of a sudden have confidence when you're going through the whoops or you have confidence when you hit a washout and the bike has just such good stability. And you know, another key change is that the handlebar on the XE is a little bit wider. So you have a little bit more leverage and the standing position is great off-road. When you're riding off-road, you feel really in command. It's kind of nice compared to a big adventure bike because you don't have a windshield in front of you. So you feel like you're on a dirt bike and it really gives you much more of a off-road character than I anticipated that it would. Also spent plenty of time on the X today off-road. 
definitely the suspension bottoms out quite a bit easier than the XE. You don't have the adjustability, so you've really only got a couple things that you can do. It, it really comes down with these two bikes. It's what are you really gonna do with it? If you want kind of a, a naked adventure bike that can really act like a scrambler and go out into the desert and tackle some kind of technical off-road stuff or go out on dirt roads, then the XE is definitely the bike. The suspension alone just makes it so much easier to ride off-road. If you're not gonna do that, then the X is a great choice. I think the lower seat height makes it a, you know, a better handling street bike. At this price point, which is $13,595, that's a really nice price to get what this bike has. So if you're trying to decide between an XE and an X, you kind of have a couple different options here. You've got the XE, which is more off-road oriented, definitely with the long travel suspension and the better brakes and some of that stuff, it's a better off-road machine. But if you're looking for a more entry-level version with the lower seat, a little bit more basic, a great price point, then the X is the way to go. And that's it on the Triumph Scrambler 1200 press launch here in Brago Springs, California. And if you like what you see, please like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks for watching.